SUVs are generally the cream of the crop when it comes to practical and stylish automotive choices. But it's important to highlight that not all of them are desirable. Yes, we are in a day and age where we don't need to spend big to get a high-quality SUV or any mode of transport. This level of accessibility is the reason why our roads are filled with these vehicles. But as I mentioned, some are exceptional, not because they are brimming with quality. There are particular SUVs that are bad. So bad that if you are planning to buy one, you need to avoid them at all costs. Hello car aficionados, this is Ted from Line 45. In this video, I compiled a list of SUVs that you should steer away from in 2023 due to several issues found on them. Before I start, I would like to ask you the favor of hitting the subscribe and notification bells. They help the channel a lot. Now buckle up and let's get back to the video. 2023 Nissan Pathfinder. Let's start this list with the 2023 Nissan Pathfinder. Well, some of you wouldn't believe this, but the Nissan Pathfinder has a low reliability score. This just proves the fact that not all popular SUVs are good. You see, this midsize SUV doesn't have problems when it comes to its other departments. It has good handling, the interior is rather comfortable, and it offers an agreeable driving demeanor. But then again, my worry here is its reliability. Consumer Reports gave it a reliability score of 1 out of 5, which is not really a good indicator of its overall dependability as a vehicle. Many of its owners reported several issues with its drivetrain or transmission system. Furthermore, they also indicated the susceptibility of the SUV to sustain faulty tech features and electrical system problems. There are also recurring reviews wherein users revealed that the control screen of the Pathfinder became unresponsive. With these concerns, buying the 2023 Nissan Pathfinder isn't recommended. It will just drive you to expensive repairs, frequent maintenance, and potential discomforts in the middle of the road. 2023 Volkswagen Tiguan We all have this idea that all German tech is rock-solid, reliable, and functional. I still believe that, in the grand scheme, this notion is actually true. Nonetheless, there are still exemptions that I should point out, such as the Volkswagen Tiguan. The Tiguan is a notable compact crossover. By all means, this is not a trauma-inducing vehicle, as it offers satisfactory passenger comfort and driving dynamics. Its first two rows are spacious, while the optional third row is designed for small passengers like your kids and pets. It has a neutral styling cue, making it a good choice for different age demographics. Furthermore, its reliability problem isn't that horrible as well. However, this doesn't mean that you should give the vehicle a pass. You really need to reconsider before you decide to buy a Tiguan. Owners of this vehicle mentioned that there are inconsistencies in its acceleration. Moreover, they pointed out that its infotainment is prone to malfunctions and is very difficult to tweak or repair. I am not sure if you are aware of this, but the Tegan is also known for burning oil completely with no apparent cause. The only culprit is its Volkswagen engine, but even that doesn't solve the mystery as to why it has an oily problem. I also have to point out that it's quite costly to maintain the Volkswagen Tegan. Based on the numbers given by RepairPal, its average annual maintenance cost is about $750 or so. Don't ever think of buying used Tiggin SUVs, especially its 2017 model year. That one is drowned with mechanical and electronic problems. If you can, just stay clear of that one. 2023 GMC Yukon The 2023 GMC Yukon is another SUV you should include in your to-avoid list. Of course, I know that this entry is a bit eyebrow-raising, considering that GMC Yukon is almost ubiquitous throughout American roads. It is a highly popular SUV model that is backed by a huge customer base. However, this vehicle isn't safe from headache-inducing problems, and it's quite maddening that this is the case considering that the Yukon isn't cheap. Its base trim has a starting price of $54,000, and for that amount of money, I think that drivers should no longer experience any inconveniences. Across multiple aggregate review sites, the GMC Yukon ranks low when it comes to reliability. It is also very expensive to repair and maintain. According to RepairPal, its average annual maintenance cost is close to $800. Meanwhile, its estimated maintenance cost for its first 10 years is about $9,000, based on the data submitted by CarEdge. Hence, it's not a good idea to get the GMC Yukon as your new vehicle. It will cause you to lose a lot of money, 
and I'm not just talking about its upkeep, even its fuel efficiency is also a money burner. But the worst part here is that its value depreciates rather quickly. It's not a good SUV to own for too long. I also recommend that you avoid used models of the GMC Yukon, especially its 2016 model year. The latter has more problems than its successors. From in-car electronics up to its transmission and drive system, the 2016 GMC Yukon simply screams unreliable. 2023 Ford Explorer The 2023 Ford Explorer is an SUV that you should avoid at all costs despite it being one of the most known SUVs in the United States. The recent model years are performing badly, which is quite disheartening, considering the legacy this lineup has brought to the market. Of course, I can't just simply overlook the fact that it is a Ford product. So why do you need to avoid buying a 2023 Ford Explorer this 2024? Well, it has a really, really bad predicted reliability rating. Consumer reports indicated that its reliability score is just one out of five, making it an untrustworthy companion while you are on the road. According to consumer reports, the 2023 Ford Explorer is susceptible to frequent and major issues. Breakdowns and stalling, for instance, happen regularly, based on the reports of its owners. They mentioned that this particular SUV requires multiple visits to automotive shops for exhaustive repairs. So far, it has had four recalls due to problematic engine, powertrain, and backover prevention. It also has a high average annual maintenance cost, which is about $730 according to RepairPal. There are a lot of good SUVs out there. Just avoid this one. I am not really sure about its 2024 model year, but just to be on the safe side, just avoid these new explorers entirely. 2023 Kia Sorento It's pretty much surprising that the Kia Sorento is a part of this list. After all, it is among the SUVs that thrive in the competitive midsize SUV segment. For those who don't know, this one is a three-row SUV that is perfect for families and daily comets. It doesn't have a peppy acceleration, but offers a good driving demeanor and passenger comfort. If it is just running flawlessly, the Kia Sorento, especially its 2023 model year, could have been one of the best entry-level mid-sized SUVs right now. I gave you a hint because apparently the 2023 Kia Sorento isn't really doing well in its overall reliability as a vehicle. Again, consumer reports gave a rough 1 out of 5 reliability score to Kia Sorento. This is a bad sign and must be taken into account accordingly. The reason for its low reliability is due to multiple compounding issues. Reviews from its users revealed that its forward collision warning system and lane departure warning system are quite faulty. Of course, these mechanical issues can be prevented by the driver of the SUV. But if that's the case, then the presence of these safety features may mean nothing. But it's not the first time for the Kia Sorento to suffer from reliability problems. History shows that its 2016 model year had multiple problems with its engine, electrical systems, and power equipment. Several owners of the 2016 Kia Sorento also narrated their harrowing experiences with its brakes. 2023 Jeep Compass You should also avoid buying the Jeep Compass this 2024. While Jeep is a popular brand, thanks to Wrangler and Cherokee, it is still not free from controversies. The entire Compass lineup, in particular, is really known for its reliability problems. For example, its 2014 model year has a really low customer satisfaction rating. It also sustained a recall because of a stalling engine that resulted in a vehicular accident. Of course, I am not here to scare you. I am just stating facts here. Surveys from its owners also unveil some discomforting concerns. They said that the Jeep Compass is really prone to electrical and mechanical breakdowns. These unexpected problems have put many drivers into quick detours while in the middle of their drives. The below average reliability of the Jeepney Compass is also due to the scarcity of standard safety features. Put it side by side with known competitors, such as the Chevrolet Trailblazer and Mazda CX-30, and you immediately spot the difference. It doesn't have forward collision warning and adaptive cruise control. So it's not just reliability where the Jeep Compass falls short, it's also not a very safe SUV to drive. 2023 Lincoln Aviator By all means, the Lincoln Aviator isn't a cheap SUV. Its base model has a starting price of $54,000, so it's just natural to expect a lot of good things from this SUV. For the most part, that has been the case. 
This is one sleek SUV with a stylish exterior and modern upgrades to boast. This vehicle can drive in unfavorable conditions. It also curves smoothly, which is surprising for its size. There's minimal body roll, and that indicates the kind of driving quality that the Lincoln Aviator offers. Its turbocharged 3-liter V6 engine also gives it a lot of power and speed. Sadly, that's where all the good things end for the 2023 Lincoln Aviator. While it is true that it has a lot of strong points, it crashes down in one of the most important factors in buying any vehicle, reliability. Several independent automotive review sites gave it a low score in its reliability rating due to its problematic in-car electronics and drivetrain. It's also worth noting that these problems have existed in previous model years. In fact, it has five recalls already, so that alone tells a story. Moreover, there's a concern about its paint and trim peeling off too easily. I mean, I know that this won't cause serious driving problems. But keep in mind that repaints for these luxury vehicles aren't cheap. As a mid-level luxury SUV, you would expect a lot from the Lincoln Aviator. But the problems under its hood should make it a less appealing option if you are searching for a high-end vehicle this 2024. And that completes our list. Thanks for sticking to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share buttons. I know it's a chore, but it helps the channel a lot. Until next time, drive safely.